Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up time series metrics on TrueNAS using Prometheus. If you find this guide useful, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is a time series monitoring and alerting tool. It continuously pulls metrics from your services and stores them in a time series database, making it possible to visualize performance trends over time, as well as set up alerts for if something goes wrong. In this video, we'll be focusing on setting up data collection. In future videos, we'll add Grafana dashboards and alerting. So make sure you're subscribed to not miss these future videos. Now let's install Prometheus on our TrueNAS. Head over to your TrueNAS UI and navigate to datasets. Before we install Prometheus, we will create a config dataset to mount to our Prometheus container in order to more easily manage and update the configurations. Go ahead and create a new dataset. I'll name mine Prometheus and set the data preset to apps. This will allow our Prometheus container to have access. Go ahead and save your dataset. When prompted to set the ACL, we can simply return to pool list. Now that we have our config dataset, let's install Prometheus. Head to apps, discover apps, and install Prometheus. Go ahead and set the retention policy. I will use two weeks and 10 gigabytes for this demo. Next, let's go ahead and update our config path to use our newly created dataset. Under the Prometheus config storage, go ahead and select host path, and we will select our newly created dataset. Go ahead and install Prometheus. Once complete, we're ready to configure our first scrape target. This is what Prometheus will use to pull metrics from our services. Go ahead and open the Prometheus console. If we check under status and target health, we'll see that we currently have no scrape targets. Most services will not export metrics by default and may have third-party exporters that will provide better and more detailed metrics for Prometheus. I'll demonstrate the basic setup with image in this video. However, other services may vary in how to expose the metrics. I'll link some useful exporters and docs below for popular services. Please leave a comment if you have questions or want to see a video on a specific service. Looking at image documentation, we can see that image uses the following environment variable to expose its metrics to Prometheus. We can go ahead and update this in our image app to allow Prometheus to pull our image data. Back in TrueNAS, let's edit our image application and add the needed environment variable under additional environment variables. Go ahead and update the app. Once updated, image will have its metrics endpoint available on port 8082. With image configured, let's add it as a scrape target in Prometheus. Go ahead and open a terminal and SSH into your TrueNAS. Navigate to the dataset we created earlier for the Prometheus config. If we ls to see all the files, we should see Prometheus YAML file. This will be our Prometheus configuration. Let's open this with vim prometheus.yaml and add the target configuration. I'll have this example config linked below. If you have not used vim before, you may edit a file by pressing insert on your keyboard in order to enter insert mode. You may then paste in the configuration from below. We will set a scrape interval of one second, which will be how frequently Prometheus will pull data from image. We will also add a job named image as well as the target for our image server. For the target, this will be the container name for our image server with port 8082. Although it might make more sense this would be our image server IP, I'll explain why this is not the case shortly. Please update the container name and port for your service if not using image. Once updated, we may save our config by hitting escape to leave insert mode and then pressing colon X enter to save. Now head back to the TrueNAS apps and restart your Prometheus app. Once restarted, head back to the Prometheus console to check our target services. Once we refresh the console, we should see our image service target showing up in the Prometheus console. However, we can see it is not able to connect to our service. This is because our service and Prometheus are in different Docker networks and cannot access one another. Let's get this fixed by creating a Docker network for monitoring. I'll create this network through the Portainer UI for demonstration purposes. However, I'll have a script link below if you would like to automate this process. As a side note, whenever you restart any of your containers, they will need to be re-added to this network. If you do not have Portainer installed, go ahead and install it from the True, True NAS app and navigate to the console. Once in the console, let's navigate to our local environment, networks, and add a network. I'll name it 
monitoring net and make sure that the driver is the bridge. Go ahead and create the network. Now that we have our network, let's go ahead and update our image and Prometheus containers to use this new network. Head over to containers, locate your image server, and all the way at the bottom, we can see our connected networks. Let's go ahead and join our newly created network. Now our image server is part of its default network as well as our newly created monitoring net. Go ahead and update the Prometheus container with the same network. If using the script, save this in a directory you can access from within the TrueNAS console. You may create this using Vim as we did similarly to the Prometheus config earlier. Once both containers are in the new monitoring network, let's check back on the Prometheus console and see our target status. Once we refresh, we are now able to see that Prometheus is able to successfully pull metrics from our image server. The reason for using the container name instead of an IP is the Docker network has a built-in DNS that maps to all connected containers. This allows us to use the container name just like we would domain names instead of container IPs. Let's take a look at some of the metrics that image provides. Head on over to the Query tab. Let's click on the three dots next to Execute and Explore Metrics. Here we have a list of all the currently available metrics. Let's check out the process memory usage metric that image provides. Click the middle button to insert this metric and let's execute the query. If we head over to the graph, we can see that this metric provides us the memory usage of image in bytes. We can make this more readable by changing it to megabytes by dividing the metric by a million. Let's re-execute the query. We can now see the graph is in megabytes instead of bytes, making a lot more readable. Since we just started pulling data, we do not have much historical data. However, over time, we will have data as far back as our retention configuration, in our case, two weeks. If we take a look at some of the graph configurations, we can see that we can mess with the resolution. If we hit the resolution dropdown, we can see that there are a couple preset resolutions from 10 seconds, 30 seconds, all the way up to an hour. There is also low, medium, and high resolution, which will automatically adjust the resolution rate based on the granularity that you like. We can also enter a custom resolution value. Just keep in mind that the highest resolution that you'll be able to set is based on the scaling rate that we set in our configuration. In our case, we used one second, so we should be able to have quite granular resolution if we like. Now that we have Prometheus set up, an image added as a scrape target, we can add other services with their default metrics as well as exporters. From here, we can also use this data to build Grafana dashboards for better visualization, as well as setting up alerts to monitor system performance. I'll cover all of these in future videos, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow along. If you have questions or want me to cover a specific service next, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy self-hosting.